typically when we're solving equations we'll end up with something like x equals 5 or y equals negative 6 but sometimes we lose the variable and those are a couple of other special situations either all numbers are gonna work or no numbers are gonna work let's let's take a look at a couple examples this first one we're gonna go ahead and solve the first step that we need to do is distribute that 2 through to get rid of those parentheses so we have 2 times x which is 2x and then 2 times that minus 6 is gonna give us minus 12 then on this side I've got some like terms I can combine a minus 5x and a 7x combine those and I'm gonna have 2x minus 12 now already you probably notice whoa it looks the same on both sides well let's just continue on here and see where we get we have two uh, minus 2x minus 2x and uh oh all of a sudden we're left with nothing except for my negative 12 equals negative 12 well let's think about it is negative 12 equal to negative 12 sure negative 12 is always equal to negative 12 so what that means is that all numbers will work in this equation and we can try one if we want if you don't believe me let's just throw in one for example and see what we get so it'd be 2 times 1 minus 6 equals negative 5 times 1 minus 12 plus 7 times 1 okay so order of operations take care of that stuff so 1 minus 6 is negative 5 so 2 times negative 5 over here and on the right hand side negative 5 times 1 would be negative 5 minus 12 plus 7 then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 and that's equal to negative 5 minus 12 is negative 17 plus 7 is indeed negative 10 so I just picked a random number 1 and it worked you could try another number if you'd like try 0 for example um, put those in 0 right here 0 minus 6 would be negative 6 times 2 would be negative 12 on this side and over here 0 is gonna make that go away makes this go away and we're just left with negative 12 there so 0 works as well if we end up with something that is always true like negative 12 equaling negative 12 and we lose our variables that is what's called an identity and that means that all numbers will work let's look at this one over here again we've got some distribution to do in order to get rid of those parentheses so let's go ahead and do that we have negative 4y on the left equals take that negative 2 distribute it through negative 12 negative 2 times 2y would be negative 4y okay so now I've got to get all my variables on the same side so I'm gonna add 4y and add 4y over here and I'm left with uh oh 0 equals negative 12 uh, shoot I lost all my variables again and notice zero, is 0 equal to negative 12 not in any universe that I'm aware of so this is not true 0 is not equal to negative 12 so no number will work there is no number y that we can put in that will make this equation work so there's no solution it's also called a contradiction so again two special things that can happen when we're solving equations if we lose the variable as we're working our way through it's gonna be one of them it's either gonna be all numbers or no numbers it's all numbers if what we end up with is true like where we ended up with negative 12 being equal to negative 12 there's no solution or it's called a contradiction if we end up with something that is not true I hope that's helpful and uh, keep working on your math.